Fire Chief Jim Schwartz and the Arlington County Fire Department were honored by Arlington Cemetery with a wreath laying at the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. We'll show you more about that later in our program, but first, Arlington Circuit Court Clerk Paul Ferguson was ready to perform the first same-sex marriages in Arlington at 8 a.m. on August 21st. But the night before, the U.S. Supreme Court put the weddings on hold as it considers reviewing whether an amendment prohibiting such a marriage is constitutional. And even though it's very disappointing to uh, many who are going to come today, uh, in the long run, hopefully this will provide some certainty, not just to those in Virginia, but in other places in the country. Uh, and hopefully the Supreme Court will rule, uh, as the lower courts have ruled, that the bans on, on, on same-sex marriages are unconstitutional. While we don't expect to hear a final decision on this issue anytime soon, you can keep up on all the news affecting our community by bookmarking our newsroom at news.arlingtonva.us. The Arlington Employment Center hosted U.S. Secretary of Agriculture Tom Vilsack, who announced that the USDA is offering up to $200 million in grants to train job seekers. The funds will be used to help recipients of Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program benefits to acquire necessary job skills. Learn more at USDA.gov keyword SNAP. Now a wreath laying at the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier is a solemn tribute to the sacrifice of America's veterans. Fire Chief Jim Schwartz and the Arlington County Fire Department were honored at the ceremony. Take a look. Major General Jeff Buchanan uh, honored the Arlington County Fire Department with an opportunity to lay a wreath at the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier, a ceremony normally accorded for our national leaders and foreign dignitaries. But I think that the Military District of Washington, the Joint Forces Headquarters of the National Capital Region, uh, who became a really strong partner with us back on September 11, 2001. We've continued that partnership in the ensuing 13 years, and I think this was just a recognition of that partnership, and it was a great honor to be here today. Well, we reach out to our various joint and interagency partners and pick those that are most important to try to highlight those with the greatest contributions to our command and, uh, and pick those that, uh, that have contributed the most to us to, uh, to come forward with an honor to, uh, to lay a wreath here at the Tomb of the Unknowns. And clearly, Arlington County Fire Department was one of those. And it comes from starting with their, uh, their long partnership, but highlighted by their, uh, their contributions on September 11, 2001. They brought uh, calm to a very chaotic situation. They saved lives. They took tremendous care of all of us. And uh, we're trying to repay some of that debt by, uh, by honoring them with the opportunity to lay a wreath here today. For the department, it is about the, the cooperation that we have with so many outside agencies, the Military District of Washington being uh, among them. I think for the county, you know, this hallowed ground, the Arlington National Cemetery and the Tomb of the Unknown is part of our community. Uh, it's part of who we are. Certainly, we as a response agency uh, serve this area just like we do the rest of the county. Uh, so this is, a, this is a part of who we are, it's a part of where we work, it's a part of our community, and it was very special to be a part of it. To learn more about the Arlington County Fire Department, visit their website at fire.arlingtonva.us. Governor Terry McAuliffe was in Arlington to sign a bill to prohibit non-attorney notaries public from misrepresenting themselves and providing advice on legal and immigration matters. To learn more about this issue, go to governor.virginia.gov forward slash news. It's back to school for thousands of Arlington kids, and we'd like to remind drivers to watch for children walking to and from school and follow all traffic laws related to school buses and zones. Now be a pal. That's predictable, alert, and lawful, whether you're in a car, on a bike, or on foot. Learn more at commuterpage.com keyword pal. Well, that's it for this week. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you around Arlington.